Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are a pale draconian uh, fighter, apparently, is what it's called. We're an air elementalist, is the idea, but uh, fighting is currently our highest skill, which is fine, because that's some extra hit points. I'm totally okay with that. Um, of Sif Muna. Now, I was thinking, like, our situation feels not great. What, what could we do about it? Well, I took a look through various spells that we had the ability to learn. Metaphetic Cloud could actually be super handy. We were to get it down to a 1% failure rate. I think it actually would be really handy to drop, especially in some of the uh, some of these maps. We're not going to deal with a lot of poison-resistant creatures. So, uh, Metaphetic Cloud would be nice. Uh, we should probably also get um, Deflect Missiles to be more castable here for some extra defense, I think. Uh, I don't know if that was made much of a difference so far, but it's probably a good idea. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up those. Now for Deflect Missile, our cast failure chance is, uh, is a little high. Oh, was I in a show tab? Yes, I was. Hang on a sec. Uh, Mephetic Cloud, can I not click on it here? Show me this, and Deflect Missile is there. So, there you go, memorization. Memorize Mephetic Cloud, yes. Memorize uh, Deflect Missile. Oh, it's level six, so we can't. Which is okay, because we can't really cast it yet either. So let's go and do some tweaks here. We will turn off the evocation learning, even though there's some handiness to having that. Uh, we could keep working on air, and of course we've got the plus one. We do have minus one charms, but it's so low level that it wouldn't be very expensive to raise that up. Having more air magic uh, can increase the power of some of our spells, which I guess wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Um, that, it's not as critical, but it, of course, will deal more damage. Um, so I, what we'll do, tell you what, we'll turn on both charms and air magic. And actually, I'll focus both. That's going to be okay. It's a good thing we got spellcast from the extra levels, although this might be a good time to, for us to forget some things. Uh, I'm going to set a target for charms of, yeah, four sounds per... Actually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll send it up to five. I don't know. Four might have been fine. And air magic uh, will bring you up to, to about 16. Tell you what, I'll set the charms back to four. So we'll get a couple of levels in each, and then we'll see what our deflect magic fail chance is. We're only one spell slot away for being able to cast deflect ma missiles, which is fine. We're still training some spell casting. We're still going to level up. I can't remember if int gives you extra spell slots as well, but that could be something... Um, yeah, so we're, we're returning here to the, um, to the swamp, even though I'm kind of a little intimidated, because it has not been the easiest thing in the universe. Okay, and that was all done exploring. Uh, I'm just going to peek down here. What was there before? This was right next to Hydras and Dragons. Now, it might not be anymore. They may have spread throughout the level for good or for ill. That was next to a croc. I think we're going to go with staircase number three. Not this one. Come on. Cycle. Thank you. I think we're going to go to this one. And we're going to drag the spragain up. And I'll just blink to put a little bit of space so that I can drop the spire. Although I could have suppose I could have dropped it next to things as well. Okay, that's fine. Um, and you know what? We'll may maybe keep up the shroud as well, just for some extra defense. So, uh, shroud falls apart right away, and yeah, we take a ton of damage. Oh my god, we're taking so much damage. There's there's something else that was red over there that was less than appealing. Uh, we are rooted, so we're moving slower. Hooray! I'm not going to mess around with these guys. Even though the, if I move away a little bit, I can maybe get out of the range of the ball lightning explosions, which seems like it might be a good idea. Hmm. I had the idea of maybe picking up regenerations, which I'm starting to think might have been a good idea for some of this stuff too. Um, so we got one ball lightning, we've got that. I don't think he can hit me from afar. I think we list the roots thing, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I suppose I could drop a, um, a swiftness here. If anything's going to kill me, it's going to be my own ball lightning. Although, I don't think it can do lethal damage to me. I 
could quaff Ambrosia for some pretty intense regen. I'll be confused while it's going on, though. How about we just... Fear? We could use an I, um, uh, summoning as well. But here, this is what my concern is. I'm using all my resources. I'm just going to launch a teleport. And maybe we didn't need it again. It's the second teleport that it turns out we didn't maybe need. Wait. Did I not teleport because of the roots? Is this a thing? I mean, I know that's the case when I'm I'm turned into a tree. Well, there's only the one Hornet left, so we will Lightning Bolt you and fail to kill you. Amazing. Okay, now you're dead. So, god damn. The problem is this downstair had some sort of... Who is that? Thorn Hunter. Extremely dangerous. I'm wondering about starting on Depths. We keep almost dying here, and depths we don't need a rune for. Yeah, we keep almost dying here, and this this cannot stand, man. I probably should have. Um, well, there's no probably. I should have gone and. Uh, I can't breathe because I'm engulfed. Okay. Um, I should have um, shrouded before going down. Are you gonna? Are you gonna die ever? I don't know if I can blink through these walls. I'll use the regular spell. It's a little cheaper. Seriously, why are you so goddamn hard to kill? Resistant electricity. Oh. I guess I'll switch to airstrikes. For untyped damage. Eat a little bit. So, we know we've got a welcoming committee here. Possibly one that's too dangerous. Those ugly things are brutal. I really don't like the situation we're in. <clears throat> Actually, well, I mean, we'll shroud. We'll see who we can pull up, and yeah. But, so we don't have line of sight through these walls, so blinking very far away is not very easy. Although I suppose we could swiftness or something. All right, we're gonna drag some ugly things up here. Blink a little. We drop you in the staircase. Now, these are white ugly things, which are the cold variants. Now, they might shift to be electrically resistant. The blue... Yeah, so the blue went to be electrically resistant. Now, I don't know if we can force them to change again. Now, I can just finish the one that's electrically resistant with Airstrike, probably, if it's alone. And it's resistant, not immune. Uh, these are both the cold ones again. I'm going to go in full lightning bolt through them both. One turn green, which is interesting. There you go, blue. Did he heal as well? How, how is he so high health? Airstrike's not going to do much. What I'm going to do is... Once again, I think they can open doors. Oh, hello. 
some double bouncing in there. Oh, the door is indeed open. Now I can still put um, a little wall up. Oops. Move too close. Yeah, I can kill him with airstrikes. It just takes a while. And it's not particularly grand. So, again, we'll put up the shroud. Although, things are hitting us hard enough, the shroud is basically collapsing right away. Your white ugly thing, which is fine. And dragging one of you up is okay. Yeah, but uh, reflect missiles, or deflect missiles, rather, would be very good for this. So I'm going to put this here, so we should get some fun bounces. And this is all bouncing through me as well, but... Boom, 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 boom. Actually, I guess I could have moved here. Okay, done. Six spell levels. Okay, so we can learn deflect missiles. Sif does pr protect us from, like, really horrible outcomes from this, but it's not great. We are focusing both the charms and the air magic. I mean, we could wait a little bit longer. There might be some dissipation. The problem is there's only the one stair down. What I could do is pre-read teleport, jump down, and then hope that it teleports me somewhere safe, but I don't have a lot of teleport scrolls, and that doesn't feel great. Um... Feel very safe for missiles. And shroud. And eat. Come down. Okay, there we go. Pop back up. So, what I want to do is blink. There we go. Ideally through the door, which is exactly what happened. Drop you down there. Let's not mess around. Let's use proper lightning bolts. White ugly thing is fine. Move to an angle. That will put me on minus cast if I do this, which means no blinking. If I do this, the chance... The odds were that I would blink in a safe direction. Oh my god, I'm getting screwed on my blinks every goddamn time. Because you can blink to any area that's visible. And statistically, I should have been blinking away from people over there. There's an upstairs that's not too far. So I could run back to it. Now, I have Mephetic Cloud, which I'm forgetting about using. Uh, because I'm an idiot. Mephetic Cloud's on what? H? We'll probably move that. Now... I was going to say, I'm assuming my, my Spire is immune to poison, right? Let's just double check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Right, I got it. I'm breaking the line of sight here, but... There. Let's confuse you some more. Okay. But it's not lasting very long. Now, Mephetic Cloud is a Charms Poison, Conjuration Poison Air. I mean, it does look... Okay, it doesn't have max power. I don't know what the power difference on Mephetic Cloud does. But the thing, the point is, I can cast it nonstop, which is good. Now, how dangerous was this still looking? Well, with Deflect Missiles, not so bad. There's a goddamn ghost there, because of course, there's going to be a ghost everywhere. We can probably afford to do some more pulls. I gotta do something with these hotkeys, because they're kind of annoying. Um, I'm already Deflecting Missiles. Oh! There's no duration on Deflect Missiles either. Uh, it's just every time you get hit, there's a chance that you'll lose it, and it's based on your strength, so... So, down and up. Um. Yeah, resistance to electricity. If, okay, let's pull the water elemental up. Because if we can deal with the elemental solo, 
I know he's like resistant to electricity, but I'm going to do that anyway just to block, and then I'm going to airstrike him. I think we can do huge things with our ball lightning crap. Not to mention poison clouds down there. So I still have Deflect Missile. So I'm going to recast this. And rest to Scooch. Ball Lightning is going to do massive amounts of damage to all those bastards down there. I'm going to put down my buddy first. Who will mostly just soak a bunch of damage. The, okay, this is not being helpful because they're being destroyed too quickly. Yeah, I know it's out of range. I'm just targeting it here, please. Hmm. Did that. I don't think we killed anyone. And in theory, we're just kiting more of the level to us. The key might still be to go down and teleport. Why have we not found better stuff? But I'm sure there's, there's something I'm missing. Okay. Um, wand of Clouds and Wand of Acid, maybe... I mean, I guess those are things we can do when we run out of mana, and I, or, like, we're at minus cast, and I do have to remember that. I don't think Immolation Tricks will do much for us. We could summoning. I'd have to be very careful about doing AoE stuff if I summon. Feel less protected from arrows, yeah. Um... I'd, I'd want to just drag some, but not all of these people up here. 16% banishment is nothing to laugh at. Dropping a silence isn't really in the cards. I suppose I could um, confuse him, then he can't cast spells. Although I'm going to get arrowed a bunch. Yeah. Without the deflect missile, it's too hard. Oh, he didn't follow me up! And run out of food doing this shit. Now, if they do come a little closer, less protective for missiles, yeah. But let's pop up. We're gonna drag a few things with us. ZF over here. Bolt the cold. Um. I don't know if fear will work at all. Some of these are nearly dead. That's not how I want to blink. Neither is that. <sighs> Teleportation. Oh, I don't have a heal. Um, I can quaff Ambrosia, though. For a little extra... possible survivability here. While I teleport. Okay. Yeah, none of this is working, and we're just burning through all our resources. I don't know what to do, other than probably not screw up my build at this point, which is what's gonna, what the situation is. Uh, we'll recast this, we'll recast that, since I'm protected from miscasts. We'll move back in this direction. Cyan Ugly Thing is the one that is lightning resist. Yeah. So we will airstrike you. I suppose I can use my wands against these guys, too. To get around that issue. Where's the giant? I have no idea. Okay, that's not scary at all. That's probably going to be too many things. Do the swiftness. I don't know if the water I'm going to go and win at. The answer seems to be yes, which is fine. Now, you are resistant to electricity, but we can still tank a little bit with this. Are you resistant to poison? Immune to poison. 
as I say, we can we can shroud and do various things like this. <clears throat> A little slower. Oh, because my swiftness is wearing off. That's fine, though. Because now I can Ice Blast. We can freeze the water. Alright, we should be able to just uh, airstrike this guy maybe to finish off. Brightly glowing vampiric quarterstaff. I don't th it's an artifact. Um, let's read, identify, and read this. Of the Shrike. Vampiric draining. So, if you unequip it, it's really bad. Because it will drain a bunch of your skills. Actually, a pretty impressive weapon in other ways. Right, I have the amulet regeneration, which I think is the other reason I'm getting hungry a fair bit. Now, there's some other dudes around here, aren't there? Brown ugly thing, yeah. Uh, cyan ugly thing. Is not H. What's my, um... Mephetic Cloud? It is H. Are you not vulnerable? Oh, maybe it's just a range thing. Airstrike. Okay, I'm going to put this back. Uh, you're confused. I can't actually see you, which is... There you are. Um, yeah, smite targeting is going to be nice in this case. You're no longer confused. Oh, I have no magic. Can always finish this guy off with um with wands, which will probably what we do. We just disintegrate him. There. Okay. All right. Uh, part of me is concerned that I did drag more things up here that I don't quite remember, but. Uh, da -da -da -da. Cyan things, the actors, the invisible wizard. Okay. Well, let's recast that. Let's recast this. I miscast the Shroud. The Shroud has like a 1% failure chance, right? Okay. We can still drop plenty of confusions. We might... I don't know. This range shit is really annoying. I could Breath Weapon to block some Line of Sight. What if I read a Scroll of Fog? To block Line of Sight. Uh, I think they can still mostly see me. Deflect, deflect. Yeah, okay, looks like you need two fog particles to block it. Alright, we'll just bring the cyan ugly thing up with us. And we're going to go and disintegrate it. Come on. Disintegrate already. There you go. Okay. Uh, Charms Air Magic. So this is still an effort to make Deflect Missiles be more reliable in a variety of different ways. Or we'll uh, wait for the contamination to go around. Zap R. Okay. Shroud is up. Put you back down here. There we go. Drag. Oh, shit! Well, it finally happened. The wizard went ahead and uh, sent us out of here. So we are now in the Abyss. Oh yeah, none of that. So with the Abyss, to leave it, there's exits. Now, the longer you spend time here, the um, or the more you see, the more likely you are to find the exit. The more stuff you kill, the more likely you are to find the, find the exit. Um, teleports are pretty good for this. Too bad we don't have a lot of them. Now, the interesting thing about the Abyss, not that it matters here, is you, it is an infinite world, lasts forever, and you can find anything in here, if you give it enough time. Well, I guess we'll grab the ration, because... Oh, I'll pick up. Find a gateway leading deeper into the Abyss. Now, the deeper you go, um, the faster you do find things, including runes and shit, but... 
I don't think that's what we want to do. An executioner comes into view. Pain, haste. Only 66 HP. Resistant to electricity. Poison. Fire. Cold. Um, and it's got a lot of MR, right? <laughs> like, if we wanted to uh, disintegrate you. Yeah, 2%. Hasn't noticed it yet. Oh, now it has. So, we're going to um, read our last scroll of teleportation. Oh, teleportation is wickedly delayed over here, too. It's worth noting. Uh, okay, blinking happens suddenly, but I don't think you can have control blink here. Ah, uh, no, I think that's in Zot. Small load abomination, okay. Let's get you here. Uh, glowing orange brain. I think you like to eat int. Oh, do we get randomly teleported from time to time? I think we are. Large abomination. Okay. Another large abomination, but yeah, we have we have to move around. Come on, just die already. Oops. No, target here for the double zap. Thank you. Probably have to rely on a lot of wand shit. Star cursed mass, star beast. Or sky beast, sorry. Um, okay, you're not immune to anything, which is good. We are going to do, though. I'm going to strike you before you go away. Are you flying? No. Just giant and can see invis. And you have a crap ton of HP. So, yeah. Get the reflection. And some more. Oh, God. I think I mostly just have to keep moving. I hope I don't die. But honestly, we're probably just dead. We do have one scroll of Holy Word for some demons and stuff. Um, if we ring summons... There we go. We'll get some helpful people here. Uh, we are also going to memorize at this juncture. No, oh, I can't get regeneration. I do have the, um, the amulet regeneration, so it's, you know, some things are going on. Uh, you're shrieking in things. Let's see, it's very rude. I think you're smite targeting my stuff here. Or, like, me. What did we summon, anyway? Oh, our own abominations. Okay. Who are going around killing stuff? What are you? You seem pretty low level. You can malmutate, brain feed. You know, see, that's just rude. I don't want to get fed on. Do I have any uh, mutations? Not yet. Although, so we can start doing some stuff with our potions. Wretched star. Air elemental over there. I bet you you fly. You do, so we'll go ahead and airstrike you. Excellent. What about this star thingy? Looks dangerous. Immune to things, lightning. It does fly. What the hell? What's with all the shit that's going around? I don't know. Feel frail? Wait. These are transit mutations. Oops, I didn't I wanted to do this. Not move towards it. So, he's giving me temporary mutations. He's also very fast. So, I mean, just trying to dodge him is not going to last, but... Airstrike. Airstrike with plus cast. It's not helpful. Vision blurs, you feel stupid. Plus cast is back. Man. Uh, yeah, I should probably have some frickin' invocations. I, 
I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure we're just going to die here, but uh, I will read the controlled blink. Oh, yeah, blurry vision, so it takes me longer to read. It takes me a lot longer to read. Yeah, we'll pick up that, sure. If we get out of here, it'll be great. God alter. Uh, into a dead end. Although, this might be a place to actually rest. A bone dragon! Wish I had shatter. Uh, I'm not going to be able to get a good blink angle. There we go. So I'm hoping to blink away from this guy, but... So I've trapped myself. That's good. Now, you were... I believe, resistant to electricity, were you not? Yeah. You, you can fly, though, so I guess we airstrike you. And basically do nothing. Okie dokie! One of acid is pretty good. Is it V X that way? That is not much of a blink. Although I suppose I shouldn't be entirely surprised. Uh, Alright. We'll go ahead and drop that down. I suppose I could try summoning spiders or something. Stop blinking me in such shitty ways. Holy word. Yes, with blurry vision. I'll take a bunch of damage while I wait to read this stuff. He convulses, but that's it. Without curing, like, we used all of our resources pretty heavily. Disintegration, there's not there's not enough chance. Immolate, silence. I mean, we could summon again and then... Well, not much. Uh, and, of course, it would be slow because I got the blurry version, vision. Now, I think that's still temporary. But it's all really bad. You do not regenerate while monsters are visible. You sometimes teleport next to monsters. Spells are easier to cast, but less powerful. We're down to two strength as well, which... Um, we could have we could have been paralyzed from hitting zero strength. We should have done that sooner. Gotten our own pet dragon. And we're dead. Uh, one day I will ascend with a spellcaster, but today's not that day. Uh, it felt like we had a really mostly easy run through the normal dungeon, but we had an impossible time with the branches. Um, and it probably part of it is not understanding how to build the casters properly, but I have to say, it feels like our items were poop. Like, we kept checking to see, okay, do we have any items that give blank? Nope. Do we have any items that give blank? Nope. Do we have any items that give blank? Nope. Like, ludicrous. I mean, I'm happy I finally went and, like, broke down and enchanted my non-impressive boots and cloaks and all that, just for a few points of AC, but god damn it. <sighs> no worries. We'll be back with another run soon. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.